mana region past it. True. Allows her, once she gets past that 50% threshold, to have way more flexibility. Kind of similar to her pre-patch uh, rooting. Patch self. Oh my goodness, Lupo already get caught trying to mash out? Look at Lupo. Already locked down in the corner. A lot of wildlife and gets baited, but no punish from a dip. Mm -hmm. so First got out. Oh. Lupro, you're a grand oh, player now, our man. You know the guard button exists. Like, Come, on. <laughs> Come on, bro. Different games, same old guard button. Lupro will land the classic Dragon Knight empty low from her flight. And this is, this is an awakening. It's going to be a good amount of damage. Look at that. Yeah. Just you did 50% 50 50%. off of an empty low without super? And you got super on deck to use on the next touch? This might just be it. No. He told oh, no. Him. Drops. Indeed. Still able to squeeze out the guard cancel. And throws out the ghost. Lupro finally finding the location of the guard button. He just mashes through the ghost. Yeah, and got a punish on a deal as well. I'm not quite sure what he went for, but... Snipe that one out. Get stuff to Lupro. Oh, go Red Star 5S. Oh, That's yes, the Lupro class. We are so bad. That's the Lupro we know we in the world. So oh, yes. We got Ash just spitting up above. Adil able to slide out, but still puts himself on top of Astra. You have to be careful with the dog. And 5S again from Lupro. The true Lupro classic. Just sticking it out there at all times. Mm -hmm. but we got a loop as well. Uh, oh, hits that were, the game. If this were a last yeah, pass loop, that would have killed. <laughs> the repack is dead. Shout out to, oh, for whatever gets... reason, they were like, you know, those those Astro spins don't need to have scaling. They can have the yeah. same damage no matter what. Oh, a deal fumbled! Oh, oh my god, the deal, no! Lupro has a chance, but a deal is still in this! But he will get thrown, and Lupro taking game one. Woo! We, we're, have, we're having some throws, huh? We're having some throws. Just, I like to see. The origami cool is open 24 7. Oh, yeah. so we are the craft supplies are on the left. The, the sign in <laughs> sheets on the right. Please, <laughs> take your seats. Exactly. Sit down, have some seats, and have some fun. I blink, and Lupro's already got a deal in the corner. Yeah, it already was shredding that awesome. guard bar as well. Deals? Was able to mash out of there. Oh, whoa, you press a Lupro. Yo, the back hitbox on JB? Not like this. Another one into the super? Oh. Not like this. It's dead, brother. D E D T dead. Say that's most unfortunate. Man, a deal was thinking like, oh, I jumped up behind him. That JB is not a threat to me. I'm ready to air to wear this Dragon Knight, and then the backwards yeah, hitbox into 70 percent. He thought he was ready, but he was not ready. Look at the Lupro already taken down 50 percent. Oh, Ooh, it got a counter hit. Not quite enough to send Lupro into a awakening of his own. That white life is huge, keeping him just outside, and it's racking up more. But Lupro finds the hit, able to escape. And that should be able to do it. No super required. Doesn't even need it. I love Lupro's idea to just jump back there. The mark of a seasoned DNF player. And you don't throw attack in this game. You hop back. You do something something else, whatever you want to do. Like a backdash conversion, JM if your character is good at it, jump back, punish those throw attempts. 
Indeed. Just keep it simple. Looks like we did go back to character select. You know, just to get a, a quick mental reset. Nothing much changed. Just same character, same cubes. Let's see that little, little 30 second intermission. It's just what was needed. Because Adele is definitely having a rough time right now. Right, trying to trying to jab out. I respect it though. Not trying to hold that five S wrong start no more. Mm -hmm. oh, he's still able to get the first clean hit. There we go. Forcing out the guard cancel. Adil definitely struggling a little bit, but runs out of mana. Tried to just go for two S in neutral when Lupro was that close. Well, you're eating a gauntlet to the face for that one. You're holding this Oki to follow up. Back roll in the corner. You hate to see it. Barring a drop, Lupro on set point off of a critical error from the deal. Man. You hate to see something like that happen. One mistake is all it takes. It really does. I mean, if you're, you're in the corner, right? Dragon Knight's on you. You're in Awakening, so you're below 50%. You back roll in the corner. That is just free opportunity for Dragon Knight to punch you in the mouth. Send your dragon to go do a flip on your corpse while you're tumbling around in the air. Lupro is sitting on set point. The guard gauge is halfway gone. Lupro will be able to convert himself into clear cube. So we do get that instant, not just the double mana regen, excuse me. Yo, able to I kind of feel bad for a deal on that one. You tell me the projectile in Vulnerable 6S got punished by the, by the Astra Light Fireball. <laughs> hey, bro, Ash is a dragon, not a, not, not a, not a projectile. You're going to die for it, too? Yep. Hey, bro, he's a dragon, not a projectile. It's pretty self-explanatory. I guess. Oh, wait, don't die for it. You have one more chance. One shot. Oh, yeah. The Go ghost back? stronger than the dragon, but not stronger than the helm splitter from Dragon Knight. Lupro 3 0 sending a deal to losers in the first round. Of course. I feel like Gold Cube is like the. I feel like Gold Cube is like the, the natural progression, right? You start off on Clear Cube because it's. It'd be very straightforward and just buffs what Monk already does. And then, you know, once you're comfortable with Monk's like baseline oh, kit, you move the gold cube, which is when you can really start making Monk do some silly things. The two former troubleshooter mains now duking it out with the Monk and just Jordan chopping the hammer and taking the first round over Taco. Taco, you're gonna eat Monk, brother. What's up? Come on, Papo. Just throwing it is out of mana. Goes low. Taco not blocking his toes. Hey, listen, so man. Monk. You might be playing Monk, but that doesn't mean you can block Monk, okay? Yeah. Oh, Those oh, are that I mix see. is coming for you regardless. Taco hey, has yo. super. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you thanks for playing. Congrats. <laughs> hey, no way that was out, though, but I'll allow it. Welcome to hey, Gold no Cube Monk. I'll allow it though. That was absolutely hilarious. How much was that? Was it like, what, 80%? <laughs> I think it was more than that. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> that was so much. Oh, what a character. I looked, at, I looked at the red on Just Orton's health bar and there was like a jab worth the worth yeah, was uh, like empty <laughs> space on there. Oh, look at Taco Black in the mix, but he still tries to mash! Just Jordan. Oh, Just Jordan's throwing. Yeah, if they go for a 2S route, I think they might have been able to kill there. Oh. Not quite gonna get it. But the oh. chopping hammer from Taco is that's lights out. Night, night. <laughs> oh, this character's so funny, bro. He's so funny. Am I excited to look through fighting an army of monks in first to two? Hell no. But this character's still funny. Taco just 4S M his way to taking game one. The sheer robbery that we just witnessed. 
So dash straight gaming? Just Jordan not trying to block on wake up, getting counter hit by oh, three dash straights in a row into the chopping hammer, anti air reaching for the skies is Taco. Bro! I'm seeing so many chopping hammers right now. Taco's working on a perfect right now. That is plus on block, folks. That is still plus on block. Just Jordan tried to Jordan's get cheeky with the throw. Jordan oh, got oh, no, tossed out of there too. Yeah, he got spooked, bro. Or he got spooked out of there. 2B, rather. 2B. <laughs> Brother? They tried to. Monk just beat his own it. Tom Fuller and move. Don't worry about it. And what do you mean, don't worry about it? <laughs> if he can't beat himself, if he can't beat himself, then who do we expect to beat? This is DNF Duel. You, you know good and well that very few characters are good at dealing with themselves. Yeah. It, it's the only game where the mirror match is a, it's a 10 0 matchup. It really be like that sometimes. Taco's only up 2 0 against Jess Jordan. Showing him who's the better monk. Yeah, this is, Taco's showing us why mirror matches in this game are 10 0. Like, oh, you. Listen, you try oh, to do meme. some, uh, you're trying to counterplay monk shenanigans by doing a meaty low. Oh, that's cute. I'm just gonna oh. sway it anyways. Oh, my oh I see. It, it might not work for you, but it works for me, says Taco. It's so dead. You're actually dead, Taco, now sitting at set point. What was looking to be a close set from the beginning, Taco just eventually started to run away with it. There seems to be a bit more experience, especially with these scrambles when it comes when it comes to playing Monk. Just Jordan trying to wiggle out a little bit too much. Those frames, it's the throw, still alive. Oh, this will be overhead. Time. Jordan's still in it. There he got gold cube. They just need to touch Taco one more time, and it's over. But oh, the reversal <laughs> from Taco is so smart to get through the chopping hammer and punish on the other side. 3-0 for Taco. Don't freak it out either. But we'll be getting the battle mage from Anton. Alright. According to Axe Chan, one of the battle mages, Anton's nice and warmed up on this matchup with battle mage, so you want to pick what's most comfy? I think, uh... <laughs> I think x is providing a warning for Anton rather than a blessing. I yeah, saw no. x and, <laughs> and Borderlands oh, run the set true. earlier. Oh no, I, for, I did not see the first part of that sentence. But it doesn't matter, say Anton says, so what? I simply do not care. That was Anton. kinda sick. We got the, yeah. the raw charge 6s starter, we got 6s juggles mid combo. Anton, Something you don't see him. every day from Battle Mage. Okay, he's chilling though. Anton with the solid rolls, starting to put the pressure on Borderlands, but the DP comes out immediately. Post haste, he's oh, jump. Jump right into the laser, and now this is where Anton's gonna have some issues. So you do have to DP off, but you still need no better of a situation because of that grenade that was lingering there. I say Anton will get clipped just outside of Gold Cube. And now he's in Gold Cube. Guy hit, no guard gates, it's looking bad for our hero. The new coming down, war crime committed. We're last, hanging up around, right. just like that, pretty quick. All right, Borderlands, that'll be $15 million for that round. The IRS will be expecting that taxes. check in three to five business days. He's evading all the taxes. He said taxes are for the weak. He's starting to rack up that white Look at that 5 in, bringing Anton out the skies. We're leaving Anton at this super uncomfortable spacing. Oh, you tried to air stall when Extruder's got a vacuum effect on it? You fool. Launcher denying any attempt at getting around her neutral control team. It's so difficult. She throws the sun at you, and the sun's got its own yeah. gravitational <laughs> field to bring you back in. Anton is hanging on just barely just outside of Goku. Oh, as soon as I say that, but he, Anton gets put by the 5A in Borderlands. Unless he folds, should be able to take it home, taking game one. We gotta stick with the Battle Mage. What's it gonna be? Just do it, Anton. Just do it. 
you know what you must do. You are aware of the sacrifices you have to make. Okay. Remind the people the of the like, Inquisition. Yeah. Remind them of the Inquisition. The one who started it all. You must burn the heretics at all costs. The battle mage does not burn heretics. She is one of them. Ah, it is time. Back it is. to the Inquisitor. The people's champion has returned. The Inquisition is here. And uh, Borderlands will be judged. Be ready to be judge, jury, and execution. It is time, we said. Wait, well, still getting Should shot, it? though. Hold on. Yeah, still I was gonna say, shot. traditionally, though, Inquisitor has had no easier of a time than any other character at getting in on launcher. She's kind of a character that, even when both of these characters were struggling, she was getting shot up by launcher. Yep. It's, it's funny, because... Inquisitor can get in. She get a lot easier than than some other characters, but not as easy as a few other characters. Yeah. Her, the neutral for this character is still extremely strong, as we just saw with JM, our our beloved. Oh, it's a trap to press. Borderlands got into the nuke, and he has super. Oh, tragedy hey, for that was Borderlands. So that was actually unfortunate. That was another war crime. That's gonna be about thirty million dollars now. Bro. Starting to rack them up. Anton is getting baited by the frame trap. Tried to press. Should have just DP. What? There's still a lot of DNF duel left to be played for this set. Oh now, Anton is trying to get in. You know, a lot of times when Borderlands throws out that 4M, they follow it immediately with jab. Anton's been very good at calling that out. 4M 2A, that very common pressure sequence there. He did a couple like run up JMs, and then after one of them didn't work, he kind of stopped. Brother, he is getting shot. The white life, the guard gets all. Oh, there we go. Wheel Let's combos. Go Taking us back. We're really going, going back in time, huh? Hey, that setup is ancient. That is a relic of a distant time yeah. when Launcher <laughs> couldn't, when uh, Inquisitor couldn't jump cancel that move. Yep. <laughs> All right, getting tossed. Oh, great from no! Anton, but that doesn't get you away from the nuke. Now you're in maybe even a worse situation than before, because you get touched by anything from Anton. Try to roll. There it is. Try to roll, and unfortunately, we'll fall in the game to Anton, sticking with the Inquisitor. Doing as the people wish. Anton once again getting sucked down into that gravitational field. Yep. Caught a little bit clo too close to the orbit. Oh, yeah. There you go, nice rollout from Anton, but good error from Borderlands, my goodness. Well, that was a reaction or a read, it was exquisite either way. Stuffing out the dash with 2A as well. Yep, 4M2A, been doing work for Borderlands. Not really sure why Anton abandoned that dash JM counterplay that worked for him a couple times. Oh, there it is! And I like just missed just space! Missed like this time. <laughs> Oh, you know, you know, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. You're like, oh, I do it at the wrong space, I can die for it. This oh time, going for the Hail Mary. 6SJM, please let me in or somebody open the door. Hold on. Damn, Anton. Letting Borderlands go up to set point. Borderlands can feel the desperation coming out from Anton, too. Yes, they tried to YOLO again, but it's still not going to work out. There we go. We able to get the full punish this time. You got to be quick with it. This is Anton's time. Don't let Borderlands escape. Wait up the guard cancel, but no, it's going to get DP'd instead. Anton does have clear few actors, so it does get the increased movement speed. Okay, look, this bitch will get shot out the sky. Borderlands, no mana. Anton still has a chance, but gets clipped 
by the 5S. And that will do it. Borderlands taking it 3 to 0. Over our leg, gatekeep the Inquisitors. I need someone else to do it in my place. Yeah, I <laughs> So if I have someone else do it, I can have I can have them do it to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so big shout out oh. to Grey Cape Hero, my goat. Hey, you thank you, Grey Cape. Hope your stream was good. Have a nice, good rest, my friend. Inquisitor versus Lost Warrior it used to be an absolutely free matchup for Inquisitor. But Lost Warrior has gotten a bunch of buffs as of late, which allows them to fight back. I still believe it is still in Inquisitor's favor, but it's not as much of a scene as it was before. And Monokai is it's... the most optimal Inquisitor as of late, so it's even more damage. Oh my god. Oh, the drops! Oh. Yeah, dropped hey. it, unfortunately, but picked it back up. Tossed. Yep. That's the drops I be having. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, that's the drops right. I be having. Monokai starting out very strong, but as soon as I go to say that, table just rips around start 2B and around 2, and that is 50% and 4 times stocks on Monokai. And it's going to be huge Whoop. for Monokai. Well, he will get clips where God says it will be a big deal for Monokai because one of his biggest issues is kind of just folding when something does not go his way. He's able to get the DP so he can salvage this. Oh my goodness, what a chase down! It caught the back roll. And I want to see. I want to see a wheel set up. There it is. Yep. Trying to bait out a reaction from table. We'll get the JM though. Oh my god, just barely catching Monocat on the back end. That's one habit that Monocat has and struggles to break at times is the over reliance on that 5M Molotov. It's an incredibly powerful pressure reset tool for Inquisitor, but a lot of characters have ways of getting around it, such as Lost Warriors 4M that you just saw. It teleports you right above, gets way out of dodge. I'd like to see him change things up, rely on it a bit less. Hey, yo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it'd be like that sometimes. Oh, you're oh. dead! You're actually dead! You know, sometimes, though, that Molotov can yield you great rewards. Baiting the guard cancel from the table, <laughs> and that is gonna be game one. <laughs> oh, I love this character so much. I really do love this character. <laughs> A beautiful guard cancel tape coming out from my Absolutely beautiful. I told you, bro. Just be more patient. Be more patient. The goodness will come. Looking at chat. Yeah, it, Lost Warrior 2S does still launch high on time stop. I believe it's dependent on like how close to the end of the time stop you play it. You do it. I'm not a Lost Warrior player myself, but uh, yeah, you can do it. I think table with the 2S at the end of that sequence, which might have been the reason. Just barely. Just barely, though. Right, table down to 50%. Monocat will get clipped by the JM, though. Yo, oh, Monica can drop. convert himself into Awakening. There we go. The 5M! Yes, yes as you said, line with the 5M a little bit too much allows Table a free counter hit. I would like... Or I, I like the idea at first. For Monica is generally not a person to just do 6M and let it rock all the way. And we're, we're starting to see that incorporated a little bit more. Unfortunately, that 5M came immediately after and got punished. Now Table is punishing Monica's propensity to be pressing on Wake Up. There they go. I'm sensing a JM coming out from Table. Yep. Oh, oh no! no. Yeah, that's I don't know if that was a misinput or Monocat was trying to make a read. Monocat, this is when you gotta. <sighs> this is when you gotta breathe in and breathe out. You gotta calm it down. You're playing too fast again. There you go. Take a second, relax. Let's get back. Let's get back into it. Table, for their credit, doing a phenomenal job of punishing Monocat's tendencies, right? As once Monocat got a little bit 
flustered in those later rounds of game two. They're pressing a bit, and Table is just keeping the pressure extremely tight and punishing him for doing so. Continues to punish those Molotovs. He's very telegraphed in the timing of them. The awareness is just great from Table. Indeed, but Monica able to find the hit he needs. If he can get a little bit more mana, he might be able to kill. Nope, not able to get it, but the JM comes out from Table, and Monica is actually going to die for that. Yeah, Monica might be dead for this one. Into the OTG. Boom. You D-E-D -E -D dead, brother. Monica forgot the first rule against fighting table. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, they're, they're, I feel like there's a couple with, of those Lost Warrior roots that you really try and squeeze out that last little 1% of damage so it doesn't let you do, like, 2B super. You have to, like, raw yeah. super there at the end. Monica is in clear queue, so we'll get the, the speed boost. Uh, uh, Monica? Scooped up again. There Monica it is. Again, the JM. The JM. Alright. Monica is still getting clipped by the JM. So I have to remember that the black one exists. The table starting to IS. Good blocks right there. Oh, immediate guard gets so respectable. Now Monica has found stuff back against the wall. Gets out of there. Great conversion to get away oh. from the 2B, but those swords do track you in the air. No matter where you are, they are coming. Monica's air approach stuffed out, punished by 40%. You got four time stocks on you as well, so this next hit from table can be lethal if she has enough mana. Oh my gosh! That is plus one block. Tried to jump a table, able to get the dash jab, but the trumps again! Molotov? No! Oh my gosh! You Got the 6M counter hit. That's Inquisitor's biggest starter, and you can see the damage with your own eyes. Look at it. JM super keep it simple. Yeah, button button super at a boy. Button button super. I'm trying to figure out what to table press. Because getting clipped by 6M? I saw a mana flash. I think it's for him. Or 5M. I said it was definitely some sort of mana move. But yeah. either way, it was not fast enough. It was not fast enough. Alright, Monocat going Cat. up 2 to 1. Dude, that would be a very big win for Monocat as well. Gonna take Indeed, him to losers, or not losers, winners semis against Goldeneye. Me. Like taking out a top two, 8 position. Exactly. Taking out two of the strongest as well. Of course, you have. Very high placings and rollback on black, on black brackets. Mm -hmm. Great Ready check as down. well. We were talking about Monocat's tendencies earlier. One of the tables is to really lean on that 2B, which, in oh, fairness, yeah. it yields great reward a lot of the time, but occasionally that button can get you killed as it is pretty slow. It is active, but it is slow. The table able to close out the round and stay alive in the set. 5M convert, baby. A Lost Warrior special. 5M convert never lets you down. Tried to throw, but just out of range, and Table gets a punish for it. As far as Lost Warrior starters go, not the best. Not a huge amount of damage, but anything matters, especially when you get three time stocks and Monica is this close Yo, to Monica, calm death. Down. Monica, calm down. No, Monica, say calm down. Game 5. Monica was just so... urgently trying to get a foothold back in this... in that game, rather. Alright. Monica starting to lose grip of the lead. But I still believe. Oh, look at that. Just gonna run them down. There you go, blocking it out. He my guy can convert to get to, to get clear Q. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. Bonk. 
And just like that, Table has put herself on set point against Monacat, denying him potential opportunity. Monacat, we started to see little cracks in the armor there in those last few rounds, and getting pressured heavily. This one, a full confirm from the swords from Table. Two stocks and the reversal coming out. Monacat falling prey to the antsiness, and the time stop will be his undoing. Let it all slip away at the last second. Unfortunately, Monacat falls. Three to two. Table will be the one going on to winner's semi. He beat Monk pretty easily. From what I've heard. Word on the street, or, you know, word from Taco himself, is that this matchup is jokes. And that Monk has a bit of a field day uh, dealing with Launcher. And, you know, when we get rounds like this, who am I to tell him otherwise? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if we're talking about jokes, we definitely seen them right now. Monk has. I was gonna say, Monk has maybe the strongest projectile and vulnerability in the game. Being that. Plus on black as well? The, uh, the duck that is frame one projectile and vulnerability. And like that, you go into that medium follow up, or you go into mana follow up, which is plus as well, so you just get in there. Sure. This range, it can be a little bit awkward, but Monk still has answers, and Taco just running up all the way, tossing Mortal Hands back to full screen. Ooh, the Big Bang that, Punch getting in that there, that one punished. Taco over committing just a hair. Mortal Hands doesn't have a whole lot of mana, though. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Uh, oh boy, that's funny, that's funny. I see you have overhead. Loki, I, would, I, I would suggest probably. I was I was suggesting yeah. brawling. Yeah, it might be <laughs> it might be brawling time. Yeah, it's time. <laughs> yeah, but it's time. You gotta fight dirty with dirty. Fight the ignorant armor with the ignorant armor. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Both of these this characters is, is have true. very good tools at dealing with each other. I find since Monk has the projectile and vulnerability in spades. He doesn't have as difficult of a time dealing with barrels as some other characters, but Brawler can just straight up out armor Monk. Oh yeah. That's when you have access to three lows. Tasco can have a rough time on defense. Let's see if Borderlands is up to snuff. I don't remember the last time I saw Borderlands Brawler. Drops the barrel combo. Unfortunate from Borderlands. I said, Borderlands oh, no. was out of mana for a long time. Yup. And Taco actually getting uh, a bit lucky on that interaction. Is Borderlands is like, all right, I'm going to throw out a 5S, which is a projectile. Except Taco just said, nope. No, sir. Borderlands keep the combo simple. Going to take the round over Taco. You guys know, fan favorite, keep it simple, stupid. Borderlands staying alive in the set right now. Taking the round. And we simply be fine. Over the black charmer, and we black the mix as well. Oh my goodness. Venomite stopping the dashing straight. Let me find out. Oh, no, Borderlands Taco. drops a combo. Yeah, you got a oh, little no. bit. A little bit greedy with it. And mixed. You got, you got schmixed, brother. I'm sorry. Oh, well, but you, you, got, you got drops. Oh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> We're fighting out? We're fighting our way out? Yeah, that's Everyone's what's up. Knocking, that's what's up. Not going to be able to kill here. Just knock down to the corner, summon the barrels. Taco lands on the first one, but now he's in gold cube with the least risk possible. And oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> the barrel explosion. <laughs> Come on, Taco. Come on, boyo. What's up? What's up? You can't just block? Taco, I expected more from you. Borderlands tying it up one to one. 
I mean, to be fair, Monk doesn't really have to block in between barrels. It's a pretty big gap in him. He can just kind of duck and get out. Oh, oh. classic instant overhead from Monk. Vinci. Patent pending. Boy, this time we're already canceling cancel. off. Yeah, Borderlands doesn't want to hold that 50-50. Monk with the overhead on the second hit of his 5B, the low on the 2B. And he out. tried to sway forward. You might lose your life for it. No, not quite. Oh, no, he lives. Barely. No challenge coming out from Taco. Ceiling is turned back. Guard the damage DP. is huge. Oh, you got a guard cancel. cancel. But now Borderlands has no mana oh! and won't need Ooh, any because the 2B. The chain coming in clutch. Anytime you have white life, 2B is such a great button to press as Brawler. 2B conversion is so safe and has incredible reward on it. Alright, so blocks on the mix from Borderlands. You found out the fudgy guard timing? All the way! Oh, that was almost clean from Borderlands. Oh, bro, yo, we are we are armoring, Taco. baby. Taco Taco is so good, actually. Cancel. I know. Reacted Checking into the over. armor. Look, the miss had perfect Taco. He wanted to do chopping hammer, but got the 4M instead. Very common mistake with Monk. Your hands move a bit too fast. Mm -hmm. Borderlands, after this switch to Brawler, has got something going. That's two games in a row. Borderlands just needs one more to be in winner's finals. Starting to cook, I told you. Right, all you gotta do is close it out, my friend. Close it out. Have no fear. Don't fold now. Okay, get back full out. I'll have no the mix. We'll get hit by the chop hammer though. It's gonna be some very solid damage. Yeah. Borderlands going down very low. One mix will do it, but it has enough to guard cancel and then That's some there. taco tried to chop a hammer. Why right, put a stop? Oh taco hello, getting clipped by the JM. Oh yeah, blo no. block this overhead. Alright. Taco sing alive. I got a game five. Taco is phenomenal at a de mid set adaptations. The game five is certainly not out of the question. Yep. Okay, back up. We are just scrambling. Poison on. This gives Taco a lot of white life to work with. He was able to access gold cube. I bet I'll we'll finally land the chopping hammer and Taco able to take us to a game five. There Taco we are. Half. Oh, Going man. cube monk is so funny to watch. This is what dash straight sway. Dash straight sway. For He's anyone moving, in right? chat who is not familiar with monk, once he gets down to gold cube, he gets a little bit of an attack buff. And he's able to cancel any move into duck or sway with some a few restrictions. But generally speaking, is able to cancel most moves into either duck or sway, both on hit and block. Right. We'll get clipped by the 2B. Taco drops the combo for the nice side switch. We're going to get clipped by 2B again. Yeah, that's a 2B starter into a JS. You can't block the mix. This is the scariest place to be against a bug. Bar none. Oh, yes. And Taco now sitting at step point. Borderlands was looking to run away with it, but Taco now has the lead, but will get armored on. Taco down to 50%. The overhead as well. The chopping hammer working out as a way to subvert the barrels from Borderlands. Now Borderlands has no mana. Okay, spends it on TP. 
Taka is waiting to ask something and get gold. Oh, there no! it is. The big bang <laughs> punch catches Borderlands in the air. And after a bit of a hot streak mid set, Taco runs it back and goes. All right, we're going to the second half of our winner series. One of this will be taking on Taco. Las Varier taking on the Rangers. Saw some discussions on top three in chat. Rangers definitely in the top three. I have them as oh, yeah. top one still. That's but I have a side one still. But that but that's just me. That is just me. The table with a beautiful yes. fade on the DP though. My goodness. Yeah, five M convert. Tables showing us why that might just be the money button, especially like when you have white life to work with to make it safe. If you convert on block, you're plus. Apparently, you can get away from DPs as well. Yeah, Rangers. He does kind of this this thing. He just like shoots at you from mid screen for a while, but once he gets a hit, oh, that's like that? when the party starts. <laughs> Yep, you gotta hit mid screen, takes you to the corner, pop up the grenade. Didn't get to set up the Oki that time, but this hit surely will lead him to it. Knocked oh, down, yeah. and there we go. Spit a couple times. No time. Grenade. Party time, baby. Grenades out. Oh, me guard against him. Respectable. Right, you got 100 mana, you better spend it against Ranger, because he's gonna give you one shot to do so. And if you don't take it, you might just die. Oh my, <laughs> oh my goodness. The cheese. Boy and I are taking the second round pretty handily, I might add. I like the idea from Table. Tried to JS over it, Golden Eyes two way. Got a little bit of low crush action in there, but I think the Rager two way just hit too high for it. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Ranger 2A definitely coming in clutch right now. Now we got the grenade set up yet again. What are we going to get? All time Go data. Back we'll away the from the 2B. Hawk. Now you got to hold Another the situation again. Oh, he wants to get the guard cancel. Also, the guard cancel does hit pretty high. Tried to do a little bit of a fake out, teleporting to conversion to stay in the same place. But GoldenEye said, okay, I guess. I'm just going to keep holding block. I'm, I'm hanging out. I'm having a good time. All right, Golden Knight, Golden Knight taking game one. Trying to get the run back versus Taco yet again. That's that's becoming. It already kind of was a rollback on Block Classic, but even more so in the modern era. Oh yeah. Now the Taco has returned with the advent of Monk. And Goldeneye has been on an absolute tear ever since the Spectre patch. Oh my goodness, Table falling down from the top rope, but not able to get the full conversion. But Goldeneye is just going to match this for y'all. 7 frame 2A putting in work. 7 frame 2A, the GOAT, Goldeneye abusing it, using it to take down table another round in the books golden eye showing no signs of stopping no signs of slowing down just letting them know trying to go up 2-0 in this set one run away table gets caught trying to press big counter hit coming in they go get the plus frames oh nice little back dash Get reset on the pressure. Golden Knight gets caught trying to commit with the 4M. I'm not going 4S, excuse me. And table. We'll put Golden Knight and take clear here. Don't know if I fully agree, but it's okay. It does a lot for you. you know, the, the damage and the four time stocks is very valuable. But if you get clipped yeah. by anything, you get this debuff on you, which is really detrimental to Lost Warrior since he's so mana reliant. That's it. That debuff is no joke. There's the super. Flashbang number one. Boom. Oh, man. First is up. Get ready. The how many? Get ready. Everyone, everyone close your eyes. Everyone close there your eyes. Is. Close your eyes. Ah! <laughs> my goodness. Sorry, my prescription just went up 0.01. <laughs> 
Oh, character change. Oh, oh, y'all forgot. Y'all forgot who Mary had in the back pocket. I know table at one point was a launcher, but those times have and have long since gone by. Y'all forgot. When push right, comes so comes to shove, you gotta let people we know the monkeying is upon us. We were talking about the eve of Monk, the advent of this character being added to the game, has truly changed the way brackets look in the modern era. This Monk is a uh, is a hell of a threat. He's a character of all time, as I as I like to put. It. Ranger 2A being one of the better tools actually against Sway though. Since it moves you back pretty far, but you are vulnerable to lows after the Sway, you know, between Sway and Chopping Hammer. If you get a low that covers that whole distance, it can be very valuable at counterplaying Monk. Oh god, you got the ISs on deck? Oh, they will get baited. Guard break looking eminent. Able to, yeah. able to get the roll out. Tables living, but barely gets the guard broken. Full screen shot. That's Ranger. Yep. He was asking about a, the... a, about a Ranger earlier. There, there he is. Ranger in all yeah. of his glory. <laughs> if Ranger puts you in the corner and you have no guard, mana for guard cancel and no like character specific way of dealing with a grenade. Then things are a bit rough for you. Monk has the ladder in duck, but you know. So it could be a little a, a little tough though. Yeah. But Golas will turn around and get clipped by the monk as things happen. Guard cancel through. Fortunately for table, Golden Eye wasn't in clear cube, so that guard cancel didn't apply the debuff. Unfortunately for her. She's still getting pressured by Ranger, and she's finding herself in that same situation that lost her the last round in the corner. Too far away to guard cancel. Uh -oh. Attempted anyways, uh -oh. but the horizontal punch from Monk was not enough to do it. That's it. Not quite dead. Oh my goodness, get the cheeky cross up into the throw. And Golden Eye would take down table 3 to 0. Vanguard is likely to have an advantage in this matchup since this 5b is great at covering the airspace uh specter is a fairly frail character and if you mess up once vanguard can just blow your health bar away but you know anton specter got the sauce we haven't seen it in a couple weeks but we know oh it's got the sauce Go. Anton coming up big with the with punishes. Oh, get, the, get the DV coming up. Danny feels not uh, not trying to deal with any of it. And look at Anton just playing it nice and simple and punishing the 2B. Danny Phantom choosing not to cancel it to make it safe. But Danny able to get the first hit. In the corner. Oh. There we are. Get out of the corner. Anton able to pick it up. Oh, you gonna get the full last order combo? No, just gonna opt for the install for the damage buff and the safe jump. Danny, you're trying to press? No! Oh. Anton was so looking look like going for the low. Danny Fenton not blocking his toes. That should do it. Anton taking game one. In very convincing fashion as well. Once Anton got Danny in the corner, this is kind of rough. It's kind of rough. Harry again? We keep seeing it. Anton has responded to Danny Phantom immaculately with that parry. 
Vanguard's pressure leaves quite a number of gaps. The special moves do as well. And... Parries are fantastic at exploiting those since they get that frame one. Oh my goodness, anti-air jab? Anton just playing the footsies game. Oh, but Anton, you got baited. You got baited, brother. You're actually going to die for that. Spectre is a low HP character. Only 930 health. And we are sending you to the graveyard, my friend. Baiting oh. out Knock the parry. Down. Beautiful. Beautiful bait on the parry. Conversion cancel dash shut with the success for the full punish. And just like that, the game fans are reminding people that he is still alive in the set. Not going to fold so easy. He said, I'm getting ready for combo breaker, bro. I cannot fold in such a fashion. You shall simply yeah, you gotta, fight that. you gotta make sure you're prepared. Exactly. Not sure give in so how many, not sure how many Spectre players are gonna be at combo breaker, but it's that like, it's that general, that general feel, right? Yeah. That exactly. baseline gameplay. I wouldn't be so. I'm, I'm guessing one just because, but I, I feel like it's going to be like less than three. Personally. I feel like we're about to see a lot of monks, though. When we see a lot of monks. Oh, yeah. Beautiful roll. It's going to be a little there. bit of monkey business going on there. Oh, yeah. DP coming out from Danny. Gets the throw as well. Anton now in gold cube. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was so good. Anton, throughout that whole first game, had been reacting to those JSs and parrying to stuff them out. So Danny turns around and says, "All right, I know that you know that you can react to it. I know that you can parry. So I'm just gonna JS right outside of the range yep. of your parry, make you look silly on stream." It, it worked beautifully. And so did I take too kindly to that to that thing? Ooh. Oh, chill. Oh, Banton drops the combo. Good use of the parry yet again. Okay, hey, well, perfect. I see you're fighting back. I saw you're striking back, Anton. Thanks for you to see. Get tossed up. Danny's in there now, but the whiffed 4S is kind of the end of Vanguard's pressure. That's a super high recovery button. You gotta get out of there. In the corner, drop down. JM the classic, but Anton is ready. Parry the gap. Don't let go know that he's always prepared. That's one thing that I really wish more people exploited about Vanguard. So there are a gap between the first and second hits of that JM on whiff. Yep. Or if you IS the first hit, it creates that gap so you can throw a reversal in between kind of like on block. Good DP gets Anton down from the skies. Enough of those air trajectory shift shenanigans, but you're cheering them in gold cube. Has mana, but not enough to kill. Safe jump blocked by Danny. The head doesn't connect as the dash cancel no. keeps Anton safe. Roll with the behead. Contractually obligated. Hey, right, Anton. Tied. Allowing Danny Panther to tie it up in rounds. Oh my goodness. Ooh, good movement from Anton. Really able to escape the success from Danny. Now Anton has a chance to assert some dominance in the corner. Oh my. Yo, we play footsies? Beautiful. <laughs> oh my. Vanguard 6M is. Kind of a not very good move. <laughs> it has a tendency to whiff that second hit sometimes in the longer ranges. Yep. And also, like if, if you IS the first hit, there's a huge gap in between the two hits. Oh wait, we got a combo off of that? Because the the Daredevil install? I didn't even notice the install. Oh yeah. 
Oh, Danny Phantom trying to fight back with a pixel in a dream. Oh my goodness. It's on throwing out the fireball, the 4S. Throwing up 2 1 in the set. All right, Anton looking to take down Danny Phantom. Oh, hey, yo, that hit him? What a cursed hitbox. Anton off to a good start. Of course, he's getting the box. So pressure starting to come out. Anton backing it up. Does get the install in. There it goes. Spin. Oh, brother. Just, just over the two brother. That low height uh, zip zip from Anton getting right over. Danny is able to get a solid hit, but the damage is not huge, at least by Vanguard standards. Oh, this one might be, though, as counter hit 5M is a great way to get in there. And you get to see the slideshow one more time. Pull up the freeze frames. Bah, bah, bah. What a beautiful slideshow. Oh, we're playing footsies. We're playing footsies, all right. 6S punishing Vanguard on whip is a thing of beauty from Anton. Oh, he comes supposed to keep Danny in the corner. That was a bit risky, but working out. Danny in oh, clear cube. It's so like Anton's, he's so well. Anton's movement in this character is a work of art, honestly. It's good master level. Easy as that. For someone who's been grinding this character for as long as Anthon has, you can see the results of it. No Daredevil install means no kill here, and it, Daddy wakes up with 4M. That's what's up. That's what's up. No fear in that man's eyes. Alright, the infant I'm trying to stay alive, doing his damnness to keep fighting back. And I am here for it. Don't try to get a little bit of base. The dreadboard gets blocked. Oh, I guess. Oh, okay. I thought I thought Anton dropped that. Not gonna lie. Vibe it. Vibe it. The head going through the fireball. The bolt coming out. What a two eight. What are the the markers of this matchup? Both of the characters extremely vulnerable to roll. Danny getting on in there. Anton survives the encounter and is in gold cube now. The Daredevil is permanently active. Last order is always on the table, but there's not going to be a chance to use it. Danny Phantom taking us to a game of five. Oh, we getting hectic right. over. We getting spicy out here. Is this like our second game five of the night on the stream? Our third? Our third. I so. We're fighting back now. Exactly. We're, fi we're fighting for. back. No more of that winner's round two, three O's across the board. Nope. Yes, sir. We got some real matches now. Just what I was waiting for. Some real DNF duel. Anton is swinging in this one. Oh, we tried the luffle. We tried the luffle on a safe jump. I respect it. Bro. I respect it. There it is. There's the highest bow, but not able to, to find and escape the 2B sliding in from Danny Phantom. I can't stand the luffleification of the Vanguard populace, man. What? <laughs> I, bro, bro, I would say the same thing. They, like, they all <laughs> played the same, bro. They all just play like crackheads, bro. I love Wolfo to death, but yeah, damn. Wolfo, Lufo, Lu FL, Lu Florida. Alright, Anton is sitting at set point right now, but we'll get baited and clipped by the Dreadborn. Alright, 
Anton able to fly his way out the corner. Danny Phantom is going back for out. We'll reset the nooch. Trying to bait out the prey from Anton, but not going to work out. <laughs> Yo, that's okay, the that's game that's... five reads right there. Yeah. Either that or a misinput that worked out fortunately for Daddy. Oh my goodness, 2B going to get blocked. Oh, what a match coming out from Anton. The 2A coming in. We'll put Danny into clear cube. And with that clear cube, Anton's got to be a little bit more careful because at this point you are one touch away from death. Oh yes. Vanguard gets a good starter, even like a like an okay starter. You might just explode, and those margins oh get even thinner. <laughs> That's the starter you needed. Just oh an okay one God. button super final final round. The look, the look location making us watch the cutscene where we don't have to. Anton was one interaction of being able to take that, but now we got ourselves the final, final round. Anton, don't make like vintage Anton and fold. That's how you know this is truly a throwback bracket when Anton folds right at the last minute. But there is still some time. Oh, but. Exactly, that is true. This is the new and improved Anton. Now throwing with Spectre instead. Look at him getting thrown. So a white light builds up. Woo! Okay, hold on, we're able to convert to goal keep. Just going to dash jab. Anton choosing to not go into goal keep. I respect that. Drop the combo. Vintage Spectre gameplay. Anton, just do it. Now? Just take the goal keep. Just take the yes. thank you. Okay, just there take is. it. Get those special oh cancels into goodness. specials. Has last order permanently. A permanent damage buff as well. Empty jump throw to scout out the parry. Anton one touch away from death and a whiff punish for Danny is gonna get that What's touch. What's he? <laughs> that was <good. laughs> I remember those days. Dragon Knight gets up in the air and Vanguard just says, eh, no. Is that supposed to get out of here? Get out of here. Down. The original no fly zone move. Just slaps DK's dog and says, down, boy. <laughs> Don't say get off, get off the couch. Oh, the oh my gosh. Wolfo, Wolfo, please. Wait. Do the damage Ruffle. already. Hello? That is yeah, he's cooking right one, now. He's cooking right now. one of Wuffle's uh, greatest contributions to Vanguard the character is the development cons co consistently and constantly of higher and higher damaging roots for this character. And you can see the results of that right there. That was a crisp two-touch on Lupro. And Deepa Lupro trying to fight back a little bit. Astra out, but we'll get hit by the guard cancel. Oh, but the whip coming out from Lupro. With the baseball swing. Y'all forgot about that move, huh? That y'all forgot. Oh, the damage hello? Oh, Lupo taking us back to the good old days. Get up. Deep. Oh, Lupo. <laughs> oh, Lupo. Yep. Luffle didn't get the biggest confirm ah. off of that. And no, oh, it kind of came back to bite him. Hey, sometimes it really be like that, you know? Let's start 5S. We've seen that a few times from Lupro. It's very fast, very good at checking Gordon's round start. And also checking approaches like that. Conversion, get yourself in there, but projectile and vulnerability is huge from Luffle. Let's Let's loop row in the corner. You can't roll through those. Oh, loop row. See you later. Nope. Next <laughs> game, buddy. I appreciate the effort, but the execution was lacking. Rolling through 5M is a commitment, and. You know? It's a commitment to no longer being of this plane of existence. If you're not rolling through Vanguard, you are committing to go into the next round. Oh, yeah. Great patience from Luffle. Ooh, waiting out Lupro's preemptive roll. 
something that you kind of have to do against Vanguard. That's a little, bit, a little bit more on the patient side. There you go, the, the Dragon Rush plus conversion, the classic Lupro. Now a clear kick goes for a reset, but will get hit with the punish. Lupro got the hit, but not able to confirm off of it. He's going to straighten the DP a second one. You tried to roll 5M again? No, sir. Lupro, please. Lupro, please. You don't got to roll. You can simply block, my friend. It is also free, I might add. Oh, trying to take oh, his turn back a little bit. Yeah, challenging. The Vanguard tackle no longer plus on block. You can take your turn back pretty well. Okay. Ready, go back full screen. Pro presenting his own roll bait in the form of that 6 7. Luffle pressed on one, but the confirm is not there from no. Lupro. The mix was blocked, but ended up by the mid. Follow up coming in clutch. Lupro's tying up the round. It's trying to tie up the game. Lupro, please! Yeah, that you game is going to get a little bit further away from Tide now with another 5M punish by Lufa. Look at that! <laughs> 70% nearly? Take it off oh. of Lufa's health bar. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Lufa. Kind of throwing a little bit. But there's still a chance. Lufa putting out the pressure. Lufa blocking all of it. Contractually there obligated. Behead conversion. See you later. Another game in Lufo's pocket. And 2 0 oh, over Lufo. Mm -hmm. So we got one more game. This is crazy. We haven't seen a single super from Lufo, I don't think. This is uncharacteristic. We're having to create the pauses organically between rounds. <laughs> Something's being created, all right. I am moving on, moving on, Lufo. Up to O, trying to close it out. Head save jumped by Lupro, but because of that conversion, Lufo still gets to take his turn. Still in that corner. I love yep. Astra Light Fireball Juggles. They're so cool. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah I got to stick. I'm gonna stay. Goes in there. No more mana after that Astra Call. Reversal out from Lufal. Has White Life to work with. Not gonna spend it. It's just gonna get oh. picked back up and the, not even needs the combo. No. So it's just Opshi now. Loop Pro. Trying his damnness to stay alive. Oh, oh my goodness, good use of the crescent. A massive oh, yeah. commitment from Lufo on that crescent slash. Sure, it covers a whole lot of the screen, but when Lufo's hovering about full screen away from you, not gonna happen there. Instant overhead from Lufo, the mixture from Dragon Knight. Y'all forgot? We haven't seen DK in a while? Here, Lufro's here yep. to mind you. Y'all forgot all about it. The behead counter hit contractually obligated. You guys all ready? No, it's gonna be a Wait. lot of damage. <laughs> Wait a oh. minute. Is... Okay, no, he's oh, not no. dead. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Lufro messed up the setup. That was gonna he die for up... it. Yeah, he messed up the guard button check. Damn. Now Lufro, staying alive, will make it two to one. One of DNF Duel's finest. Won't roll over so easily. Can take Lupro out of the game, but you can't take the game out of Lupro. Facts, bro. Oh, shit. We, we just out here spitting now? That's what's up. Yeah, forever and always. Lufo's gonna sit back, relax, and take a second. That's the classic. He's being deprived his super cutscenes for uh, yeah. <laughs> relaxation his purposes. Man. 
We need, have to create our own. Need to, except we must do as we, we you know, while we wait for um, Lothal to create his own cutscene. How about you guys take another quick peek at the exclamation point? Matrino, we have officially reached 25 codes gone. Now let's see if we can get 25 more as this humble commentator asks of you beautiful, beautiful audience. So please, let's go ahead, claim up the rest of those codes if we can. Let's get as many as we can. Happen to have any spare pocket change, please feel free to throw that as well. This is the last rollback of Black DNF before combo breaker starting up in just a few days. So I suggest we go ahead and get these folks paid so they can have a little bit of spending money over at combo breaker. So please. Estimation point, matching a login, claim a code, and support our players. Please. No, we. Please. <laughs> what if I for? for me? What if I for? for me? That's all I can ask. That's all, all, all I can ask. Yeah, but did you hear that that guy looks like Brawler? Everyone out here lo loves be loving, be loving Brawler, right? So go ahead. Uh -huh. Get cheaper to the match. <laughs> what if I for? All right, game four. Hold on, oh, Lupo just barely yes. able to stay alive in the set. Yeah, after surviving a counter hit the head at about 60%, able to get it, clutch that fourth game, but a behead start is not how you want to kick off game four. Look at that, 60% gone, Luffle, JS, Oki in the corner. This white life is racking up from Lupro IS. I got a lot, and you're not going to be able to spend it cashed out on. Leave. Oh, baseball swing coming in clutch. Lupro able to get the conversion as well. This what I'm going to be able to get that too much. white life. Ooh, Astra getting cooked. Oh my goodness, baseball swing. Try to save Astra. Lupro's going to zip right in. And get that Luffle. counter hit with the video. Yes. Uh -oh. The pixel uh -oh. in a dream, baby. That's all you need. A, pix a pixel and a dream and the mental fortitude to keep going. Okay. Oh, they're fucking again. Working magic for Lupo so far in this set. Luffle trying to press. He's trying to go for, I believe, that tackle to try and get through the fireball. But Lupo is yep. too close. Can't get the projectile vulnerability fast enough. I get the delayed overhead. A spot swing going in, but we'll get rolled. Lupo trying to apply a little, little bit of pressure now. The guard so gauge Lupo is losing a lot of guard gauge. Getting chunked down. It's oh. not gonna matter. The swing again. Counter hitting left out of the sky. And we're in game five for the second time here in loser's side of top eight. Oh my goodness. Lufo's gonna be taking another little bit of a break. Push this hiss out for anything, Astra? Yes, indeed. Don't forget. Lupro is still a DK master. Mm -hmm. All right, Lufo ready up, trying to get right back into it. Game five, pulling up to the plate. Silver scrapes is playing in the background. All right. And now we move. Oh, oh, where? Lufo just going to hit up with the dash roll to get past the Dragon Rush. But Lufo will still land a hit onto Lupra. 5B coming in, but no confirms and Lupo just going to roll out the way. Reverse allowed from Lufo. That's the, kind of the first one we've seen so far when Lupro gets that corner Oki started. Lufo been a bit apprehensive to just throw a reversal out there. Oh, the game's not traced, but we still... Moving forward, got the hit successfully. Tried to behead, but not big enough gap. Greedy, greedy Luffle being punished for the overextension. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Lupo going up the set point. 
Alright. Blue Pro starting to run it back. It's looking to be friendly in Lufo's favor. But oh my goodness, Count Hip Ahead coming in yet again. The contract is not yet fulfilled. Look at that. 50% gone. Got the hit, but didn't confirm. Oh, the head from there he is. Oh, Roll through. Oh, the the miss input. Like good bait on the DP. Luffel taking us final, to a final, final round. Between Lou Pro and Lou Full. Who is the superior Lou today? Oh my god, that scammer was beautiful to witness. There you go, 5 million block this time. Lou Pro with punishing the tackle with the 5B. Lou Full now in the spacing. The fireballs oh no, are coming flip. through. Loopful trying to press and getting punished for it again. Astro do a flip. Leave Loopful with no health remaining. No, the Loopful Classic getting punished. Doesn't have white life to convert and combo off the behead. So Loopful has to make this happen with no white life, and it's just going to be Astra into the swing. The Classic to seal out the set. Loopro taking a 3 to 2. And dude, what a comeback from Lupro. Was definitely struggling. Yeah, it's, it's like the. It's either Fu or if Reiko was out of bracket, it was Reiko. Yep. And otherwise, was offline results not quite there for the character. Him and far in between. I want to say Danny does carry the advantage of this matchup because Danny does fight Reiko all the time. As, as we just said, one of the best Lost Warriors in the game. Mm -hmm. so we, we can see as kind of like a preview of what can happen versus Fu as well if they happen to cross paths. But Table is robbing Ooh. game one. Not game one, round one. Hit Danny fed him with the fake out. Teleport converted to low. Oh, you made you look. That's what I like to see. A major blink. I used to call Lost Warrior like Major Look the character. Back when yep. he didn't really have a whole lot of consistent tools. He was just a very catch you slipping kind of guy. You still got a plethora of ways to do that game plan. For a long time, he was guard button check the character, and that was it. But now he has some very solid, legitimate tools as he puts Danny into clear cube. Table trying to make Danny slip, and he will by walking directly into that very active 2B. And we'll close yeah, out game one. That was a cool switch up on the time stop rooting from Table. Going for. The 2S into nothing for a while, and just letting that confirm after the time stop go, that she didn't waste any more hits than decay during the time stop. Okay. Table still to be in firm control of the set. Definitely in Thank there. You. With punish from Danny's thumped him. That's a start, but you tried to throw and table denying that opportunity. And we'll go Danny's finally starting to fight back. JS gets some pressure, keeps it going, and the guard bar is getting cranked. Continuing to go oh down the goodness. counter hit 5S catch it. Looking good for table so far. Oh, but the bait? Danny just playing it nice and simple. Catching table slipping, trying to overcommit at round start. Cross. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh huh, uh huh. Meaty 4M is a pretty solid tool against people that like to squirm their way out of the corner. Because it's... The only thing it really loses to is just blocking. It beats roll, it beats mash, it beats jump. Yep. <laughs> All you gotta do is simply block, my friend. 
Oh, a table canceling into the carry. Excellent read. What a roll from Danny, but the two-way from Vanguard is too short, so no punish. Vanguard two-way moment. Yep. Play it yep. ain't so. <laughs> Most tragic. Okay, Danny finally able to slip inside. Table, I asked him for her life. Gets the bait from Danny. Big counter hit, and you are dead. Danny ties it up one to one, just like that. Challenging behead is such a massive risk when the opponent has white life. You get placed in this super uncomfortable RPS situation where if you win, you get. If you parry the behead, you get a little bit of a reward. It's kind of nice, but if you don't, you lose the RPS, you take like 70% of your health. <laughs> We got Luffle, the captain of the Vanguard Sith. Us Vans are sorry for misleading you. There's a secret, y'all just gotta laugh. That's crazy. Labbing and DNF? Not today, my friend. Not today. Table putting Danny fans at 50% with the DP. Release me, he said. Back throw as Luffle well. Up. I'm revealing your secrets on stream. I'm trying to inform the populace. The people need to know. The people earned the right to know. Danny, just keep holding the guard button. What did I say? Just keep holding the guard button. Table taking the round. All right, me and Mary back again. Table getting the throw in. And the counter hit 2B as well. Tons of time to confirm. On the table, same on a full stick of butter. Danny having a very one dimensional approach at the moment. Table should be able to close this out. With a perfect. A perfect nonetheless. Where's. Is Great Cape in here? Anyone got Great Cape emotes? Let me see those Lost Warrior 2Bs in chat. Yeah, we're, the, we're the two best. All right. There we go, Danny. Starting to start some dominance here at round start. Not gonna let table get away with everything now. We'll be rolling out. out. Oh my goodness, the back row moment. Woo. Counter hit, but head again. Now Danny Phantom looking to get the perfect of his own. Yeah, it's very close to it, but oh, gonna be denied by table. You no, know, you tried for this perfect. No, you can't have it. Instead, what you're gonna have is your guard gauge cranking down. Oh, oh Danny able to fight back, but the guard gauge starts to slowly regenerate. And goes low with the 2A. Danny Phantom stays alive. Yeah. That button no longer plus on block, but some people still used to the old ways where you gotta respect that yep. tackle. You got a good button that can cover both the ground and the air with something like Lost Warrior 5A. You can challenge after it very effectively. Times will come in from table. We'll put Danny Phantom into clear cube as well with four time stop stacks added on top. Oh, that 2B put the drop into <laughs> when in doubt, press it again. Hey, yeah, why doubt, not? <laughs> <laughs> oh I, I feel like drops are the most common points for resets in yep. most games, but especially in this one. They're like, oh, they dropped their combo. Surely they're yeah. minus, right? <laughs> Hell no, not in my DNA. Table sitting at that point. Danny fighting for his tournament life right now. Oh my goodness, look at the damage piling up. Danny trying to get back with the hook. Perfect trying to take us to a game five. He's swinging in the corner. What a back roll out. Oh, to oh, be the, the, the DP plus. recovery gets punished. This could be the start of a massive run back for Table. It's going to be four time stocks for free. Oh, yeah. That was Loki. He would have died. 
Like, are we chilling That's now? Oh my gosh, the parry! Fable went for it. Fable just going for it, guys. That's another game five. Is this not the DNF brackets of old right here? All just go straight sweeps into nothing but game fives. Okay, we got the second monitor pop up. Most unfortunate. Oh, that two B sliding clutch. The infantry now down to fifty percent. Table trying to close it all up. But the J in from Danny channeling his inner Luffle. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, man. Gets in there. Gets the confirm. Beautiful stuff from table putting herself on set point over danny phantom and with punishing full screen that dreadboard didn't quite make it good block from table four m gets over Daddy's been pressing that 2M a whole lot, and it will be the last time he'll get to tonight as Table sends him packing. Man, oh man, 3, 2, what a set. Alrighty, our second loser's semifinals, or this is quarterfinals match of the evening. Lufro and Borderlands. Both. Right, Lufro have been making a bit of a loser's run after falling to Goldeneye in round two winners. We're not stopping here. In that corner, media reversal from Borderlands. Brother Brother Sucky, yeah, Brother Brother is 10 0, bro. Just like every other mirror match in this game. Alright, Lupro sitting at 50%. Oh my goodness, the super dash. You love to see that. Oh my goodness, and we're avoiding the double nuke as well. Astra, my man, coming up clutch for Lupro. Coach Eleven when Astra comes, comes, comes and just just hangs out like that. Back Astra's always the home. Exactly, bro. Get yourself a friend who's a fish you like Astra, bro. That's exactly what we need. Astra, he's, he's got your bag no matter what. Oh, you need you need a couple fireballs. I got you. I you need you. a big old fireball? Don't worry, I can I, I can you. gather myself up a little bit. Exactly. I can make one easy peasy. I can best not block it out a little bit, Pichilla. Back at full screen. This is one of the places on screen where Lupro has quite a tough time. Is you are hard pressed to commit to something to try and get forward and. Oh, Finding that correct option in the face of launcher pressure. This is tough. Tough but doable. Look at that a whole bunch of wildlife stacked up guard gauge. No, oh, the guard break. And the Borderlands will take the round. Okay, now we're trying to push. Good block on the mix on Borderlands, force the guard cancel out, but no mana left. Good punish on the roll from Lupro. Fortunately for Borderlands, this at least means his guard gauge is going to have a brief respite, but 
Borderlands end in the combo pretty early to maintain that pressure and keep Borderlands having to IS yep. for dear yes. life. Finally, guard canceled out. Uh oh. Oh, it's begun. It's begun. We broke down at 50%. Launching. Borderlands is. That's a little low mana. Combo Spirit coming out. Guard gate is now chunks. Okay, now we're chilling. Couldn't IS the nuke, so instead of that chip damage, you took about half your guard bar in guard damage. And you're back in the corner. Counter oh my gosh, the super Luke dash. Trump. Super dash. It's a thing my of beloved. beauty in the matchup. My beloved. Alright, Lupro taking the first game. That was only the first game, mind you. Mm -hmm. You know what that means. Things are biking even more intense. The bullets are already got Loop Pro locked out in the corner. Nice rollout. No punish. Damn. Oh, there you go. Loop Pro not able to get the full confront. Thought he's going to get clipped by the missile anyway. Now we're just blocking it out. Oh my goodness, Blue Pro with the beautiful jump cancel, the bait, oh no, yeah, jump cancel the bait and punish the guard cancel. And Borderlands still staying alive, does not cancel in the clear cube. There, there we go, we'll get the last second to cancel. Yeah, that breach in as much as possible as well. And gets the super. Oh, and a kill. I, I saw that combo and I knew, I was like, this has got to confirm in a clear cube, right? It's going to kill. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolute perfect for Borderlands. Good situational awareness. Sin. Oh my goodness, the splash damage on that JS. DK's been out of the game for a little while, so I've forgotten about how bonkers the second oh, half yeah. of that move is. It's definitely, it's definitely a meteor. Yo, hold on, we got the whole... Oh, we got a good portion of the galaxy out here in this matchup. We got yep. the sun from Launcher. We got the meteor fields from Lupro. What is next? All we need is the stars. Lupro going low. Gets the mix. Dealing out the round. Rollins. Don't have a little bit of trouble with the matchup. Who knows the last time we actually played this matchup? It's definitely been a long time. It's, there are no DKs left in the world right now. I think it's also gotten more difficult for launchers since the buff to DK's air dash speed. It used to be like, oh, you had a decent amount of time to react to the air dash and do something about it. Now she's just coming at you Mach 10. Yep. And any <laughs> anti air you press is going to be too late no matter what you do. We're running around at the speed of sound. DP coming out from Loop Pro. You know, now that you mention it, this Astra color kind of looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm just saying. It's all for a reason. Oh my goodness. Roll throw from Lutro. And he goes up 2 0 in the set. Oh. It's time to brawl, baby. You know yeah, what's we're up. Playing, you we're know playing what's brawl, up. Guys. <laughs> Brawler, I think, matches up pretty favorably into Dragon Knight. I made the point earlier about how any anti-air you press against Dragonite's air dash is going to be too late. Oh, I lied. Because Brawler <laughs> is a little bit Brawler is a little bit privileged in that regard. As his 4S, or 4M armor, excuse me, starts up super quickly. And so Brawler can reliably counteract that air dash with like 4M convert button on reaction to the mana flash. Which is an extraordinarily powerful tool to have against DK. Yep. Borderlands, the last time he swapped over the Brawler, was able to put in a lot of work. Still fell down to lose his bracket, but still was looking pretty clean with it. So excellent use of the, the spin to go through the, the home run. Oh no. Oh no. Nah. We are here bringing down the roof. Okay, Lupo, very low on health. Ah, Borland oh, no. trying to DP. Oh no, but no punish from Lupo. He fumbled it. 
throw an expert roll through. Fortunately for Borderlands, he had conversion to keep himself safe. However, the DK continues running you down. Classic. Borderlands now one round away from elimination as Lupro is continuing the loser's run a hot streak. Tries to run up 4M, but no dice from Lupro. Recognizing the mana flash, recognizing where Borderlands is going and stuffing it out immediately. A reminder, all armor in this game loses to Lowe's. If he got him, press him. Alright. Go check on the throw. Borderlands could have a clear cube if he chooses to convert. There it is. Once this character is in clear cube, his guard threat becomes substantial. Also, if you get a hit. Is that a small thing? Did you just fall out of 4M? <laughs> that is so tragic for loop for or for for Borderlands rather. Sometimes the universe wills a lot of things. That time just happened to will an L for Borderlands. Definitely un classic. You've seen this a bunch of times, but Taco has taken it every single time except for the very first first meeting. Last week, it was also an extremely dominant performance from Taco in this matchup. These two played twice last week in winners' semis and losers' finals. And Taco took both sets 3 0. Oh, yeah. He is just looking hella clean right now, especially in this matchup. Super comfy, but gets caught trying to match out. Fortnite keeping Taco just outside of Gold Cube. Hulk gets the hit, but it doesn't matter. Taco trying to sway out of his problems, which will get counter hit anyway. Fortnite cleanly taking the first round. Oh, oh no. no. Definitely missed it. Definitely missed it. That that misinput is lethal from Goldeneye. Just look at this punishment you're taking. Oh, DP again. When it out, just do it again. No fear. And the BD low getting past the chopping hammer. I love that from Goldeneye. The debuff is on. The mana is not there for Taco. Uh oh. Uh oh. Goldeneye. Got some momentum going on the side right now. Also, I, I saw that taco. I see the backdash counter play on the Oki. It's been a minute since I've seen it. If anyone's not aware, when Ranger does his traditional Oki string, like JM does the spins, throws a grenade, meaty JB, you can backdash that JB and force like an air reset into a scramble situation afterwards. If Ranger presses like a two-way after the scramble, then you can punish him. Taco you have squeezing out. Not gonna be enough for Taco. Still finding himself with a back foot. Just outside of goalkeeper's as well. Pixel away. This guard cancel is not gonna reach far enough. He's gonna get guard broken. The IS is not enough to save Taco's life. Damn. Well, you're watching, you're watching Ranger, baby. Classic Ranger things. Taco down to 50% guard gauge. Having a lot of trouble trying to get anything started. A super stark difference from the matchup between these two we saw last week. There's some of the more familiar Taco gameplay. Getting those roll baits with the 5S strings is core to Taco's Monk's play. So Golden Knight able to find the clean hit. It should be able to convert into super. And we'll go up oh. to Owen this set. Wait, he's dead. What? 
I thought this character did no damage. I'm somehow still not used to seeing Ranger kill from half health under like any circumstances except for a guard yep. break. They what? normally it's not that high damaging in the character, but I guess every now and then he got that juice in him. He sometimes just finds the juice. Oh my god, reach to the heavens. Talking about launcher. The divine blessing, my anti or my opponents on this fine day. Yeah. <laughs> For the one time, my lord. Alright, Taco. Looks me back into control of the match, but the DP mini comes out for going. Well, Taco got a greedy. He's trying to 2B. You crazy? Taco just swinging for the fences when he doesn't need to. This time, guard cancel. <laughs> Man. You want a character that can combo off of getting hit by a guard cancel? There you go. Yep. That's Ranger, baby. Look no further. Huh? Alright, Golden Knight sitting at set point. The Taco got a nice clean hit. Look at the hell. This is the most DNF match you will probably see tonight. Look at that Taco again. Just straight robbing the round. A clean monk round if there ever was one. Project on vulnerability through monk. Or Taco not letting Goldeneye get away with a single uh, gun hawk in a block straight. Right. Which is gonna be what you gotta do in this match. Don't let him get away with it. Go, your guard uh -oh. bar, Taco. No, not gonna be death because Goldeneye doesn't have awakening. A lot, but oh, your health bar is gone. You're in gold cube now. You can make something happen. That's or it. not as Gold Knight tosses him up and secures his grand finals winner's side. Golden Knight taking down Taco. 3-0 to zero too. That was that was clean. That was Magically took those out. Well, some of them. <laughs> well, I'm, most of them. I'm looking at you, Monk. Yeah, they took they took away all of them except like Berserkers, and then we're like Monk? Damn. Just say, damn. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Alright. Perry coming out from the table, playing a stop to the early Lupro shenanigans. Nice use of the baseball swings. Look be just shy of 50% as well. Unless, yep. She does not put table in the clear queue. We'll get the overhead, but Lupro doesn't have too much mana here. Not going to be able to get the kill. Oh my goodness. Table, what are you pressing? Oh. 2B is what she's Hold pressing. Up. And DB is what Lupro is pressing. And checking the dash with the two A's. Like, don't you ever do that again. Lupro is not one of the best. players. Yes. You can't try one to react to check Lupro. Indeed. That two is incredibly good, super fast, still goes low. Definitely one of the best in the business. Right now, in general, is actually one of the faster characters in the game. Good movement speed, good button speed, flight speed. She's got it all. Except for health. But right now, Lupo just took a huge hit from table. Yeah. That's the price you pay for having most of the most everything else you could want. The health. Yep. Not as, not as there as some other characters. Lost Warrior, on the other side of it, is one of the healthier guys in the roster. So you're feeling it even more in this matchup. I know, vibing. Table, very, very large health lead right now. Oh my goodness! Five a heads right. here. Bro gets a DP, oh, huh? gets a baseball bat conversion into the corner. It's not going to be enough to kill, even with the Astra Flip. It's going to have to go for an Oki situation. Uh -huh. Look at the damage. Oh my Table goodness. Table And you know the Dragonite players don't miss those air confirms. Oh, no. 
That's the one thing they all got in common. Is the air confirmed. Alright, Liverpool taking game one here. The seeds are checked on new challenger. Round one. Oh my goodness, look at that table. Already starting with a very large health lead. Catch a loophole slipping over at round start. Already getting the time stamp, and that was a simple loss warrior round. Things like that happen sometimes. That's a loss warrior round for sure. It, uh, you know, you get hit by the wrong things against Lost Warrior, and. It's lights out, especially when you only have 950, 930 HP, whatever DK has. He's one of those two. It's it's tough. Just look, you got hit by one thing that was fairly innocuous, and you're already at 40% HP. So Abel, on the other hand, it can this the damage game can go both ways, especially when it's Dragon Knight in Awakening. Hooper doesn't confirm into Super, but Table again pressing on Wake Up and getting counter hit there. Oh yes, Hooper just immediately striking back, taking round two. With Punish by Lupro, or by, uh, on Lupro, by Table, excuse me. Puts the Lupra just outside of Awakening, but that situation not going to last very long as IS allows Lupro an opportunity to get in. Now he's the pressure off. trying to come down, but first out the guard cancel. Tried to back roll away from your problems, but your problems are here to stay, Lupro. Game 2 going to table. Indeed, staying alive in the set so far. All right, here we go, moving on, moving on. One of this, trying to, trying to take on Taco. Hey, yo! A little bit of a spaghetti moment. Table trying to jump down from the top rope. Okay, chasing not, him down. I'm not one to root against the Lou Goat, but how funny would it be to have two, two Monk Mirrors in the same bracket? That would be simply what the universe ordered. If the universe demands it, the universe shall receive. Oh, 5B cash in a roll, Lupro. So we'll take it yeah. at home with the perfect. Yeah, they've hey. been tr trading a whole lot of dominant rounds. I noticed that when Table wins, she often wins by a fairly substantial margin. And Lupro has also been pulling out a couple of these near-perfect rounds, rolling through the mysterious swords and punishing table. Now it's DK pre-awakening, so the damage is not that heavy, but every little thing adds up slowly but surely. Okay, is Lupro looking at another another perfect? I'm testing a JM from table. I can feel it. You won't have the opportunity to. That's a hard no, knockdown. To Tries to use a mana skill to no avail. 2 0 Lupro. Perfect. Imagine regular hood perfect followed by a regular perfect. Oh, no, it's time. It's time to start monkeying around. They caught me slipping on camera. I was like all the way folded up in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready. Yeah, no. <laughs> Hey, bro, sometimes you get you gotta be comfy. I'm I was like slouched down, leg myself. up on my yeah. desk, and then they switched seeds. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, warning next time, warning. <laughs> Are we moving on? We got the monk coming up for table. Is this enough to take down Lupro and the Dragon Knight? The overhead, it's a start. Chopping hammer not blocked, and even with the confirm that table did not incredibly optimize as 50% health off of Lupro. Yeah, 
go. Might look good already. Can we close it out? Uh -huh. One more mix is all it takes, Lupro. Oh, yeah. the low. Yep, there it is. There's that mix. Empty flight low. But it's a loop pro on set point. This could be the return of the classic. One of the classics, anyways. Yeah, oh my goodness. If Loop Pro takes this round, we're getting a Loop Pro versus Taco Losers finals. Oh, yes. Oh no, but Loop Pro's getting mixed. Not quite dead, though. <laughs> Damn, we got monked. You got, we got monked, monked a little bro. bit. <laughs> I just say it can happen to you. Oh, hold on, Lupro just gonna pull up on it like that? Respectable. Alright, Fireball's coming in. There he goes, buffing out the sway. The meteor's too good for that. Oh no. Double roll into chopping hammer, that a huge reward for table. Alright, cancel off. Monk actually moving kind of fast in clear cube. This oh, yeah. movement speed buff working wonders for table. Table is going to take us to a like game five as well. Brawler. That was quick. That was quick. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Just. Lupro said, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this. We're just going to go straight to Brawler. We're going to fight Dirty with Dirty with Dirty. Was hoping to go Dragon Knight the entire way. But when push comes to shove. The Brawler has to step in and take care of the matters at hand. Yep. People in chat, chat wondering. Yeah, Monk is kind of like a boxer style character. So like a... I like to similarize him, compare him to uh, like Akihiko from Persona. Yep. Um, doesn't quite have the same like. Yeah, obviously doesn't have like Cyclone, but. Oh, not that five B though. All right, good reaction from from Lupro. Pro. Yeah, we get the full pickup as well. Table has now reached the cube as well. Oh, able to Lupro drop the opties. Oh, and no. he's getting bonked on the head. I know, just gonna play it safe. Go for the Nick. We'll get blocked. But the JS table. <laughs> table. <laughs> Kill this guy with chopping hammers. Let him know. Hey, Lupro, don't fold, all right? It'd be really funny if if, if you folded. Just gonna, just gonna pull up on him just like that. Back roll out. That back roll in the corner was dangerous from table. Oh, loop roll. That's an overhead. Into the side switch. Oh into God, the you... mix. Oh, loop bro getting oh. mixed out of his boots. One more 50 50 will do it. That's all table needs to take the set. We're still alive. Oh, the, the GameStop train? Lupro stays alive. All you need is the easy confirm into the super game five final round. That was truly, truly something. What a trade that was. I of the these final, characters final round just they create some really interesting situations and can just nuke health bars off of them, too. They're definitely truly something. There it goes, shut Just armoring through the chopping hammer. That's also a option as well. Chopping hammer only hits two times, and neither one is a low. Last coming in from Lupro. Able, able to roll out. Clear cube is now activated for table. Lupro still got some ways. Empty they, jump empty. low from Lupro! There it is. Damn. That's all he wrote. The clutch up in the final moment sends Lupro to beat Taco. Out of Macharinos, it's free money to donate to these players competing here today. Yeah, and we will be getting the brawler coming out from Lupro. Much respect on that, my friend.
because most well, likely not gonna work out. Get those plus frames in, Lupro. Good, good pickups as well, down to 50% for Taco. It comes directly into the barrels, but no pickup from Lupro. Just too far away, only detonated the last barrel, so he couldn't confirm off of it. That would have been a dead Taco if he'd been able to, but now you're stuck in this situation, and Brawler has a lot of strengths in this matchup. One of them, however, is not really dealing with this mixture. Like any other character, you got to hold it. And Lupo and Mishy got out of that the uh, the uh, scenario, but was unable to keep himself out of it. Going to clip out a chopping hammer here in round two. He was just shy of 50%, but DP finally comes out from Lupo. Not trying to hold the schmix. Ooh, just whip him. Look what that damage trying to pile up. Lupro could be looking for death here. Has the mana to do so as well. Try to get one more 4 am in there. Lupro fighting back, tying up the rounds here in game one. All right. Double jam coming out from Lupo. All he did was just waste a ton of his mana. They already oh, got the now. Yeah. Oh, that goes low. <laughs> a slight delay. Oh, yeah. There you go. We'll get the mix as well. Surprise Taco. And I just go for another OTG to clean it up. So Taco will take game one. mixture is just too difficult to deal with once you're in this corner against a monk you better fuzzy block for dear life this is the only way you're getting out of it throw by lupro throws unfortunately don't mean as much in dnf as they do in others since they give your opponent free access to that conversion block it out uh Dark so it gets successfully baited. Oh, Taco getting swaggy with the combos as well. Oh. Mix up what's gonna be. Lupo's gonna get mixed. Lupo does not know how to escape that mix up yet. That JS, you can either IS it or backdash and take the hit, whichever you prefer. Ooh, that chopping hammer also with punching the 2A from Lupo. Oh, Lupro, I just kept punching the mouth. My man just having a tough time out here in these streets. All right, well, again, one hit's all it takes. Look at the hit on the barrels. Taco tried to go through him. The conversion overhead is massive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that 6S's miss input leads to a drop combo from Lupro. The frame trap. Stepping in, Taco taking game one. Sticking with the brawler as well. Not too shabby of an idea. I it must yeah, I would stick with it too. Regardless of how that one went, it looked much more competent for Lupro than the Dragon Knight in the matchup. Oh, yeah. You press it. Oh, Luko just really having a tough time right now. Do they get mixed? Taco just straight washing right now. Sitting at set point. Sometimes the breaks. Sometimes you just get put in the corner. You get 50 50 out your shoes, and that's just how it goes. Great recognition. Recognition of the situation though from Lupro and reversing that chopping hammer. <clears throat> oh, yo, okay, a little, little bit of a scramble going on. Tackles will still come on the other side. Successful, Lupro not saying in clear cube. 
I say you can only take one mix, and that's the one mix he took if he did not block it correctly. And Taco takes it three to zero over Lupro. That means Taco is getting that mental boost from winning a bracket here oh, tonight. Yeah. Do wonders for you. Certainly would. Taco was a hell of a competitor to have to bulldoze through in that last game, though. Hey, there you go. Now start to play it. Oh my goodness! Nice timing on the ducking dash from Taco. And yeah, we get the timing right this time around. Ooh, just outside of range as well. Debuff has been applied to Taco. Fortunately for Taco, he does have enough mana to guard cancel, but he's not gonna get the opportunity to instead of the meaty golden I just run up the row. Okay. Because of that round one of grand finals, we gotta get flashbang. You're con legally obligated. Contractual flashbang. Must happen at least once a game. I would rather not, if possible. Now we're going right back into it. Grenade Oki? Taco getting hit by the 6M. Fortunately for him, the grenade causing that to not be a stagger situation. But this one is full confirm for Gold Knight in the corner. Set him down. Get the grenade so you're not in gold cube. Now that guard damage is racking up. Guard break up. Perfect to set the tone for the set. Good lord. Taco, can you fight back, please? That's four games straight you gave to him. Yeah. Oh, oh. That's what's up. The EMP. The EMP. Taco said it's time. We must take drastic measures. That looks like we're all back to normal. Chopping hammer coming in. Got counter hit twice in the same 5S string. That wasn't even a combo. Oh, nigh though. Getting out unscathed even with that fact. And look at all this guard damage that Taco has taken without even blocking Gunhawk. Chilling. When in doubt, I go chopping ammo. The classic. And there you go. We're not just gonna try to slide right in. Like with Kassam, we're just blocking it out for now. Right, you know, throw. Up. I'm waiting for that chopping hammer to come out. Yep. Well, it's coming at some there point, but talk pressing <laughs> and oh, oh my god, get no. Okay, with a raw 5S. Rolls oh my god, hammer, Taco, I... just... Taco, you're so good, bro. Holy crap. Bro. And so the combo short for a little bit of a mix. Oh, you got monked, bro. You got monked, Golden Eye. Just a little bit of mix. Just a tad. Good lord. All right. Moving on, moving on. Oh, title one to one. Oki situation. Thankfully for Taco, it's not as scary, or it wouldn't have been. Because Goldeneye didn't really have enough mana to go for that full guard break sequence, and Taco does have enough for guard cancel. I've never seen that trade before. That's working out big way for Taco. This damage! You're tied up from that? Oh, God! Hey, we DNF dueling. I told you, bro. Big Bang Punch is no joke. Big Bang Punch is no joke, brother. Taco apology right. form. The yeah. media convinced me he was done. I thought he was I've been watching Goldeneye no. win too much. 
<laughs> I was jealous of his optimals. I will never oh talk God. down on the first <laughs> Violet Hall of Paper ever again. Reset. Punishing the roll as well. Back goes Cash and Wiggling. Oh, Taco trying to jump out, trying to sway out. We'll get the chopping hammer. When it doubt, just keep going and try it again. Taco moves on two to one. We're gonna get the second, the second uh, week in a row where Taco gets sent down to loser's side from winner's finals and then runs it all the way back. Looking like it so far. Dead to the corner. Taco, one of the few players to effectively roll back roll the 6M from Ranger. Just able to get you out of dodge and make it so that you don't get those plus frames. Go, uh huh? In the black ring in Taco, please I have something for your life. Thank you. Try to make it forward. Ranger 2A is always there. Do you get a meaty gun hog for your troubles? The IS from Taco was phenomenal, but wiggled at the last second, and Goldeneye got the JM confirmed. All right. Goldeneye staying alive. Trying to take us to a game five. Long gone are the days of that. The trade? Bro, we take the most those. GameStop trade of all trades. Look at that. Oh, you died because of that! Yeah, covering the roll beautifully is Taco. Doesn't have enough mana to make this kill. Needs one more mix. Oh, what a challenge from GoldenEye. Not gonna fall so easily. Try to cancel for mistimed again! Oh, confirmed. Doesn't kill. Has another chance. What a presses. Reset point. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, indeed. Taco with momentum on his side is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, yes. Yeah. Get some solid damage out. Mix! Well, but the drop, but the, the reset into the choppy hammer, and we have ourselves a bracket reset. All according to plan. 3 1 for Taco in the first set, and we go once more. That was. That was something. I do like how Golden Eye did go back to the lobby for just a second, get a little bit of a mental reset going on. I said, damn. We can't. We can't let this keep happening, bro. Because that was looking tough. Looking like a struggle right now. We go once more into the match. I'll also direct you guys once more to the exclamation mark match arena. You know, keep it quick this time, but go up and claim those codes. We gotta get into this set. Yes. Well, Taco's over, so I believe that automatic 50%. That's how we're feeling right now. Doesn't get the safe jump. Goldeneye able to find the DP in there. The debuff is on Taco. That is hurting the mana region. You can see how glacially slow that's coming back. Get a chance to spend all this mana. Taco doesn't have guard cancel. Isn't going to get to use it either as you IS'd all that white life away. All right, Goldeneye with a very quick round. That Ranger Gunhawk situation just feels like a you saved your guard bar, but at what cost? Yep. There you go, Taco Land, the Big Bang Punch from the skies this time around. Trying to bait out something going up, but he's not buying it. Oh, that was almost clean. Nice roll out for the 2B. Golden Eye got too greedy for a punish. The 2A was right there. Oh, oh my goodness. You got baited Golden Eye yet again. Indeed, he did. The DP not fast enough with the hits to break through the chopping hammer armor. 
Hawko continues to keep it close. Gunhawk? No, just the delayed 6M. Taco tried to get out of there, expecting the Gunhawk as well, I think, trying to sway. Hey, yo! And I like the double chopping hammer just to get through the grenade explosion. Taco always fully aware. We'll get the conversion off. Able to apply debuff now. The black on the mix on the mix from Golden Eye. But again, chopping hammer coming in too much. As Taco will take the first game post reset. Man, being able to just do sway into immediate duck and get that chopping hammer is such yeah. a powerful thing for Monk. Oh yeah. You bait him in thinking, oh I'm going forward, psych! You thought you could DP safely. What a solid challenge coming out from GoldenEye. Pearl come in. Taco can activate to get into Gold Cube. But presses instead by accident. And not gonna be able to kill though. The guard canceled this time early enough so the grenade doesn't catch, but Goldeneye just kicks him back away and says, hold this gunshot. He said, relax, buddy, calm it down. Oh, Goldeneye slid into the chopping camera. <laughs> he slid into it. Oh no. Oh, the was an awkward taco? combo. Yeah. But it's fine. Oh, yeah. It worked out in the end. Taco taking that round. Watch <laughs> Golden slowly being able to assert a bit more pressure. We'll catch Taco trying to converge it into something. Oh, what a JM. Able to escape the explosion. Crushes the low with the JS. I love that. That JS can hit anyone crouching, so just use it as a low crush. Oh, just relaxing now. Just getting that pressure gold in. cube is available. I'm nice loving the patience for Taco. Excellent patience. A lot of players would just go and take their turn back real quickly there after that block situation. And Taco just knowing. Ah, there's something a bit fishy with this. I'm sensing some delay DP. Oh yeah, red, gold, and I like a book. All right, gold and I. We got two rounds minimum. Now it's your time. Game away. That chopping hammer. Not where you want to be on the side of Goldeneye. But we'll take the drop combo stuff. Ooh, I like Over that for Taco the... Yeah, he slides directly back into the grenade, unfortunately. That Big Bang Punch was a good, good shout, but slightly misspaced. And once again, the guard cancel getting punished by Goldeneye. Oh my god! Oh, he'll drop. But does better. We mash it. Oh, Taco drops again. Taco, please. Taco blocking it out. Taco's waiting for his chance. You can tell. By the time he's looking for a neutral skip tool, might get guard broken. Try to five M through the gun hop, but was a little bit too far away. Yeah, the projectile vulnerability running out just as he passed through it to the Gunhawk was right there awaiting his entry. And Goldeneye has entered the corner, a free one-way ticket to himself. Hope you enjoy your vacation here because yep. you are getting bopped up for it. Excellent punish on the roll. Taco needs one more mix, but he drops it. And Goldeneye was to mash him. And lies in the corner. He has Taco here. He has plenty of mana for this guard break. Taco has to IS most of his health away. And getting caught by the 2A is fatal when all that is gray health. Mm -hmm. 
and being a golden eye. Staying alive in the set makes it two to one. Keeping us in the game. Golden eye holding on, not letting it be a repeat of previous times. Not saying, not letting Taco take two sets in a row just like that. No victories. All right, Grenade Oki, what's it going to be, Taco? Just going to sit back and block it out. Okay, take a blast with that guard kiss. Getting low. Will able to get the guard kiss. Oh, it's the stream mix. Keeps on side. Gold Q. DP coming out from Golden Eye. Just a little bit far away. But we'll get out on the backside. I'm just chilling. I'll be vibing. Taco slides directly into Golden Eye. A Golden Eye gives us the second flashbang at the set. Right as you said, we're vibing. I don't think the only one vibing right now is Golden Eye. Hey. As soon as that slide hit, he was grooving. Taco, that not so all much. we need. That's all we need. That's all we need to be grooving. Next. So much harder to see that overhead when the first hit of 5B whiffs. You're just hanging out, and then suddenly the second swing is coming for you. Auto correct into the corner. Say it ain't so, Goldeneye. Say it ain't so. Taco is now on tournament point. <laughs> Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. What? All the dash cancels on 5A. On five Monk is tall enough for that to work. That's crazy. Yep. Dude, barely, though. That only works on, like, the very, very tallest characters. Monk, Crusader, maybe Lost Warrior. Hey, he's a big boy, you know? Attack goes down to 50%. Good amount of white light built up as well. Guard gauge getting lower. Oh my gosh, that reached. He duffed him. Locked it out. Oh, oh my gosh. Way M. God, he went directly into ducking dash M for the plus range. Got the full launcher and said just because the mix. Hi, <laughs> Taco. Wins the whole. What? Any last words, Viz? Man, you guys already know what's up. You guys are doing around here. Stay true around here. Please feel free to follow Shout Roll to Laugh. Not just here on Twitch, but on YouTube as well. To catch the VOD action, be sure to tell a friend, tell a friend that roll back on block. We'll be back once again next week with some more beautiful fighting game action. But to tell them, it was your birthday. Happy birthday. And y'all be some beautiful, beautiful people. And see y'all at Combo Breaker. If you're going to Combo Breaker, best of luck to you. If you see me, feel free to pull up, say hi. And uh, best of luck to all you competitors. But we'll catch you guys later.